breaking news right now on KCAL 9 News at 10. Breaking Keep news watch, tonight. Lord, for those who work or watch or weep this night. Breaking news tonight. A community is left devastated after a deadly attack in a house of worship. Tonight we're learning more about the woman who was killed, also about the suspected gunman. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chris Holmstrom. And I'm Sarah Donchi. One person is dead, three others are hurt, and once again, questions remain about a deadly attack at a house of worship. A synagogue became the scene of bloodshed on a day marking the end of Passover. Keiko 9's Jeff Nguyen, live in Poway, where the attack occurred. Good evening, Jeff. And good evening to you. Tonight, this community is mourning the loss of a generous woman who was a member of this congregation. In the meantime, investigators are going over an apparent manifesto to figure out if the suspect is connected to a fire and the vandalism of a mosque at Escondido recently. We want to show you a picture and give you another name. This is Lori Gilbert Kay. CBS News has confirmed that she was the victim killed here. And tonight, investigators have been talking to about 100 witnesses in this case. Police on scene in Poway after a gunman burst into the synagogue and started shooting. It happened at 11.23 this morning at Habata Poway as worshipers were celebrating the last day of Passover. The adults were play, praying in one room. The kids were playing on the other room, and then the guy came in, he saw the kids playing on the other room, okay, he saw us on the main room, okay, but he just decided to go probably towards the kids, you know, yeah, and he shot this woman, and he shot the rabbi, the rabbi was there also, and uh, and then Almog, Almog Peretz, is, uh, he grabbed all the kids and just ran with them, and he got shot in the leg. He was just... Focus. He was like the most focused person in the in the room over there. He just grabbed the kids and ran, and sounded like like lamps that are bursting. You know, like like really like big booms. You know, so so I was looking at to see if a chandelier fell or or some. some there's a big echo in this room because it's high ceilings. So we thought that like chairs fell down or something like that, and then somebody was screaming. You know, hide yourself, shooting, shooting, shooting. You know, so we all laid on the floor and started crawling towards the exits. So we all got out through the emergency exit and just ran out. Did he say anything? Nothing. He didn't say nothing. He just came in and started shooting. You know, it was with a vest on him, with clips inside of it. I think a few uh, uh, firearms. After the shooting started, I glanced, you know, over the entrance, and I saw him standing over there and just shooting and, and going, you know, forward really, you know, slow. Where was he aiming that gun at? Towards the children or towards? Towards the room where the children were and, you know, where the rabbi was. This individual was with an AR, a AR type assault weapon and opened fire on the people inside the, the synagogue. We're collecting digital evidence and we're aware of his manifesto, which we're in the process of uh, reviewing to determine its validity and authenticity. We're currently working with the Escondido Police Department and the FBI to determine Ernst's possible involvement in the arson at the mosque in Escondido about a month ago. The sheriff says the person killed was an older woman. A girl and two adult males were among the wounded. As the shooter tried to escape, an off-duty Border Patrol officer opened fire on him, but he got away. It was a San Diego City police officer who heard the call on the radio and raced to the scene that chased down the suspect. As our officer was exiting the freeway, he clearly saw the suspect in his vehicle. The suspect pulled over, jumped out of his car with his hands up and was immediately taken into custody. As the officer was placing this 19-year-old uh, male into custody, he clearly saw a rifle sitting on the front passenger seat of the suspect vehicle. The FBI is also on scene, and as investigators try to sort out why this gunman carried out this shooting, the mayor of Poway had this emotional message. This is not Poway. The Poway I know comes together as we did just a few weeks ago in an interfaith event. We always walk with our arms around each other. And earlier, the sheriff said that the off-duty officer who confronted Ernest had been a member of the security team at the synagogue. For now, we're live in Poway. Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.